Before we dive into the world of digital investigation, let's get one thing absolutely clear. This content is created solely for educational and awareness purposes. We're not here to encourage any kind of misuse or unethical behavior. Instead, our aim is to empower you with knowledge so you can better protect yourself and those you care about in an increasingly digital world. But remember, just because data is public doesn't mean you have free reign to use it however you want. There are ethical and legal boundaries that must be respected at all times. By learning how your data can be exposed, you'll be better equipped to lock down your own information and help others do the same. Let's get started. Responsibly, ethically, and with a commitment to privacy for all. OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence, gathering and analyzing information from public sources to create actionable insights. In other words, it's the art and science of collecting data that's freely available to anyone, then transforming that raw information into something meaningful and useful. Whether you're a journalist, a cybersecurity professional, or just a curious individual, OSINT is your toolkit for uncovering hidden stories and connections in the digital world. Think of it as digital detective work, where you sift through clues scattered across the internet and public records. Just like a detective pieces together evidence at a crime scene, an OSINT investigator connects digital breadcrumbs to reveal the bigger picture. The internet is full of hidden gems. Sometimes, you just need to know where to look and how to interpret what you find. You don't need hacking skills, just curiosity, patience, and the ability to connect dots. OSINT is about using your mind, not breaking into systems. Anyone with a computer and an internet connection can get started, making it one of the most accessible forms of intelligence gathering. OSINT sources include social media platforms, where people often share more than they realize. Photos, check-ins, and status updates can all be valuable clues. News articles, government reports, and public records are also gold mines of information. These sources can provide context, timelines, and even direct evidence about people, organizations, or events. Online maps, discussion forums, and community boards can reveal locations, patterns of movement, and even personal interests. Sometimes, a simple comment on a forum can lead to a breakthrough in your investigation. And don't forget about data from public breaches. Sometimes, leaked databases contain information that, when used responsibly, can help verify identities or track digital footprints. The real skill in OSINT is analysis, piecing together small, seemingly unrelated details to form a comprehensive picture. It's like assembling a puzzle where each piece comes from a different box, and only your analytical skills can make sense of the chaos. For example, a single social media post might seem harmless, but when combined with other posts, public records, and online data, it can reveal surprising details, including location clues, habits, and even future plans. Today, we'll focus on how OSINT can help find a mobile phone's location, not by pinging it or using secret tools, but by following the digital trail left by its user. Every action online leaves a trace, and with the right approach, those traces can be followed. Every post, check-in, or public Wi-Fi use leaves a breadcrumb. These digital breadcrumbs, when collected and analyzed, can map out a person's movements and routines. OSINT teaches you how to find and follow that trail, using just a web browser, some clever search techniques, and a curious mind. It's about thinking creatively and looking beyond the obvious. Let's see how it works. Step by step, you'll learn how to become a digital detective and unlock the secrets hidden in plain sight. Sometimes all you have is a phone number, but that's a powerful starting point. It might seem like just a string of digits, but it can unlock a wealth of information if you know where to look and how to search effectively. Start by searching the number in Google and other engines, using different formats. Try variations with and without country codes, dashes, or spaces to maximize your search results. You might find business listings, social profiles, or forum posts linked to that number. These can provide insights into the person or business associated with the number, offering a glimpse into their online presence. Use free reverse lookup tools like Truecaller or White Pages to get a name and general location. These tools can be invaluable in identifying the owner of the number, giving you a starting point for further investigation. Save the number in your contacts, then check apps like WhatsApp or Telegram. If the person's privacy settings allow, their profile may appear. This can reveal their profile picture, status, or even last seen activity. This can lead you to their social media presence and more clues. Social media platforms often link phone numbers to profiles, which can provide additional context and connections. The goal is to turn a single number into a set of leads, 
a name, a face, a region. Each piece of information is a puzzle piece that helps complete the picture. Each new detail helps you build a clearer picture. As you gather more data, patterns may emerge, leading you to more substantial insights. Remember, this is about gathering public data points, not live tracking. Respect privacy and ensure that your methods are ethical and legal. Use these methods to connect the dots, not to cross the line. Always be mindful of the boundaries between curiosity and intrusion. Now let's look for more digital breadcrumbs. Each step forward is a step closer to understanding the story behind the number. Once you've linked a phone number to a person's social media, you unlock a trove of location clues. Look for direct check-ins or location tags on posts. These can give you time-stamped histories of their movements. Even without explicit tags, post content and photos often reveal locations, mentions of local events, visible landmarks, or tickets. Friends posts can be revealing too, especially if they tag your target in photos or status updates. Don't forget photo metadata. While most platforms strip EXIF data, blogs or forums might not. GPS coordinates can sometimes be extracted from original images. Analyze posting patterns. Do they frequent the same spots? Routines can help predict future locations. This isn't about real-time tracking, but understanding someone's pattern of life. Every post is a potential clue. The more breadcrumbs you gather, the clearer the trail becomes. Let's see what a single photo can reveal. A single photo can reveal a surprising amount, even without GPS data. Geolocation is the art of analyzing visual clues in an image to figure out where it was taken. Look for street signs, building names, license plates, or unique landmarks. Search visible text online for matches. Use Google Maps and Street View to match architectural features or storefronts. Natural landscapes? Analyze vegetation, terrain, and even the sun's position for hints about location and time of day. Distinctive backgrounds, mountains, coastlines can be cross-referenced with Google Earth. Weather and environmental details can help narrow down regions. For advanced cases, even the sky's features can be analyzed. Though that's specialized work, every detail in a photo is a potential clue. With the right tools and attention, you can extract a surprising amount of information. Let's move from images to official records. Public records are a goldmine. Property records, business registrations, court documents, and professional licenses are often searchable online. If you have a name and general area, you can find home addresses, business locations, and more. These records provide stable official information that can confirm or expand on what you found elsewhere. Data breaches are another source. Sites like Have I Been Peeuned show if an email or phone number has been compromised, sometimes revealing addresses or usernames. Use caution breach data is a legal and ethical gray area. Public records can be outdated, but they're invaluable for building a complete picture. They anchor your investigation with official, less transient data. Now let's look at the digital infrastructure around us. Advanced OSINT includes analyzing Wi-Fi and cell tower data. Sites like Wiggle Map Wi-Fi networks worldwide. If someone mentions their unique home or work Wi-Fi name online, you might find its location in these databases. Screenshots or forum posts revealing SSIDs can be searched for physical addresses. Cell mapper map cell towers, useful for understanding coverage areas, helpful in missing person cases, not for live tracking. These methods require technical know-how and rely on crowdsourced databases. They're less about posts, more about mapping the digital environment. Even invisible signals can leave a trace. Using OSINT to find someone's location carries serious legal and ethical risks. Privacy, stalking, and harassment laws are strict. Compiling public info to track someone can cross legal lines. If your actions cause fear or harm, you could face criminal charges. Never use this knowledge to contact, confront, or harass anyone. Always ask yourself, is my reason legitimate and ethical? These skills can be misused for harm. Your ethical framework is your best safeguard. Know the laws in your area before you act. The digital world isn't anonymous. Every action leaves a trace. Use your skills responsibly and lawfully. We've explored OSINT from search engines to photo analysis and public records. The main lesson awareness. Your digital trail is bigger than you think. Use this knowledge to audit your own privacy and help others do the same. OSINT is a tool. Its impact depends on how you use it. Journalists, cybersecurity pros, and law enforcement use these skills for good. You can use them to find a lost pet, verify online identities, or protect against scams. Always act with responsibility, legality, and ethics. Respect others' privacy as you want yours respected. 
Share this knowledge to help others protect themselves. Stay curious, keep learning, and use your skills to build a safer digital world. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tips on digital safety and tech trends.